You know, we, uh, I, I wanted to, you know, there's so many memories, and we're just trying to figure just a, a, a few to show from the past 16 years, and we thought, well, here's a bunch of memories, and uh, you're a part of a, a bunch of these, and, well, what the hell? Let's, let's take a little stroll down memory lane, shall we? All right. <laughs> You don't ever want to touch a glass from the top because... Never touch the top. No, people Only are going to drink bottom. from there. You don't want to touch it because then they don't have to drink from there. They don't want to touch your... Right, and you don't ever want it to, like, brush past your ass. Never, 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 never. That'd be bad. Or, like, here, here's your drink. Oh, exactly. gee. Well, it depends what kind of bottle you want. <laughs> okay. That's good. I'm actually not hitting the bottle. Yeah, you, you sort of... <laughs> sort of... Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Um, I guess... Okay. That's good. <laughs> Uh, really uh, incredible. My skills are really uh, amazing. <laughs> now, your radio show is very popular. Tell us, what kind of things do you discuss on it? Well, anything from work-related stress to sexual dysfunction. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, tell us about the sexual dysfunction. <laughs> you mean when the man's wiener doesn't work and the lady right? Right? <laughs> Ow! Belinda, I know that people who dress this way always wind up in trouble. Please help me get my Andy back. Andy, come on! Thanks again for helping us out. Are you scared? I'm a little nervous. I, I've never done anything like this. Now, is he going to be okay? Oh, you bet. That suit that he's wearing could withstand 10,000 pounds of bite pressure and Ginger's train not to go for the face. Let's do this then. What the? Ginger, no! Your coffee, Mr. O'Brien? Oh, thank you. Hey. Did you just make eye contact with me, you piece of crap? Ah! Ah! Get out! And get me another one before you leave! I can't hear the laughter anymore. I gotta say, your book tells quite a story. And it's all true. The entire family was trapped on an ice floe for four months. Unbelievable. What the? Ginger, no! <laughs> you have a play pigeon right here? Are you all set? All right, I'm all set. All right, here we go. Conan led a happy childhood in a large family that provided constant companionship. It was the summers at camp away from his family, away from his beloved cat, that were difficult for him. Dear Mommy, camp is very lonely. Some of the other kids tease me and call me stinky. Two counselors held me down and shaved my head. I cried myself to sleep. Please send cookies. Love, Conan. We'll be right back after this important message. Pay attention.